the Monaco Grand Prix. This race is unique because of the circuit's outdated design. It's not very well suited to today's very large modern Formula One cars, so the drivers have to navigate these narrow streets, sharp corners, and constantly dodge the barriers. It's like threading a needle at 200 miles an hour. Now, qualifying at Monaco is taken more seriously than any other race circuit, because if you get pole position, all you have to do is keep your car out of the wall for about 78 laps and you've basically won the race. So it can be within your best interest to fortify your pole position, however you see fit. Now let's talk about the controversial ways people exploit the Monaco Grand Prix and cheat to succeed. Let me tell you about some of the most famous qualifying moments in Monaco, the 2006 Monaco Grand Prix. The title battle was heating up between Fernando Alonso and Michael Schumacher. It's so foreign to me that the likes of Fernando Alonso was still racing back then, still racing now, it doesn't quite work in my head. Schumacher was struggling to keep up with Alonso's lead. So during the final runs in qualifying, Schumacher pathetically slid into the barriers at Arascas to bring out the yellow flags and force Alonso to back off. But instead of Alonso backing off, Schumacher's plan backfired when the stewards deleted all his previous lap times and forced him to start from a pit lane, while Fernando cruised to an easy victory. Let's fast forward to 2014, and the championship battle was between Mercedes teammates Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton. In qualifying, Rosberg was faster again after their first runs, but during their second runs, Rosberg locked up and slid into an escape road, forcing Hamilton to back out of his personal best first sector. Hamilton even sarcastically praised Rosberg on the radio for his great manoeuvre. The stewards cleared Rosberg of cheating and he went on to take pole position and in the end won the race. But the 2021 qualifying session had a bit of a plot twist, the supernatural spirits were at work. Ferrari had miraculously found pace. After their very mid-2020 season, they seemed to be sort of back for 2021, although they were still a midfield team, fighting the likes of McLaren for third in the standings. Charles Leclerc secured pole position after he slammed into the wall at the swimming pool, and by doing this he caused Max Verstappen to not be able to finish his lap. But Leclerc's luck ran out. On the way to the grid, he discovered his car had a broken drive shaft, and he was forced to retire the car before the race even began. Verstappen took advantage of this situation and won the race. Is it a coincidence or is it a conspiracy? Who knows? And then we fast forward to last year, 2022, where again we had some foul play. Sergio Perez had just completed his final flying lap. We had both Ferraris ahead of him, and Sergio not wanting to be beaten by his teammate Max Verstappen, who was just behind him, just before going into the tunnel, Perez got on the power a bit too early, consequently spun, blocking the entire track. I think it was a Ferrari that was coming around the corner as well and slam on the brakes and also spin, and behind that Ferrari was Max Verstappen, meaning he was blocked and couldn't finish his lap. Max was absolutely fuming. And this of course led to the incident in Brazil where they said that Checo should be let through by Max and Max said no, you know my reasons because back in Monaco, whatever it was. So you get the idea and because of Perez's foul play or antics or coincidence if you want to call it that or maybe even genuine mistake, he qualified third where Max qualified fourth and it was a Ferrari front row lockout. And thanks to Ferrari's subconscious incompetence, Perez sailed through to get the victory. The unique challenges of the Monaco Grand Prix circuit can lead the drivers to push the limits and sometimes even break the rules in order to secure a better qualifying position. While some of these tactics may be controversial, they are a testament to the intense competition and pressure that surrounds the Monaco Grand Prix. It's arguably the most famous motor race in the world. When you think of racing, you think of the Monaco Grand Prix. So what do you think of these sort of maybe dirty tactics, if you want to call it that? Do you think the FIA should be more strict with drivers who impede other people's qualifying lap? Or do you think they should just let it be, because it's Monaco? Let me know in the comments below.